Kokogov overtakes Sabalenka at number 2, Peloni into the top 10. So, Elgia Swiatek extended her lead as the world number 1 following another title winning run at Roland Garros. In the latest edition of the PIF WTA ranking, Swiatek remains at 11,695 points, 3,707 more than anyone else. Outside of Swiatek, the foul out from the French Open resulted in plenty of the shakeups, none more than none more than uh, so than Coco Goff who overtook uh, Ariana for the number 2 ranking. The past week Goff reached her third straight Grand Slam semi-finals. How did she finally reach a new career high? Here is the snapshot of her progress starting last summer in which she began her torrid stretch ranked number 7 and left a newly minted Grand Slam champion at world number 3 before hitting her great year uh, this past week in Paris. Coco Goff rises to number 2. Midway through the 2023 season, Goff had yet to win a title above the WTA 250 level. That changed once the tour turned uh, to North America hard courts after snagging the City Open title at the first uh, at the WTA 500 level. Goff captured the first WTA 1000 of her career at the Western and Southern Open, where she posted her first career win over Swiatek. Goff, 19 at the time, followed that up a straight sets win over French Open finalist Carolina in the final to become the tournament against the youngest champion. Goff carried her Cincinnati momentum into the final Grand Slam of the season at the US Open. Uh, wins over My- My- Myra, Elsie, Angelina. So, uh, after falling in a loop-sided first against uh, Sabalenka, Goff engineered a, a gritty comeback to win 2-6-3-6-2. She went to extend that win streak to 16 matches at the China Open and qualify for second consecutive WATA finals. Over the year, Goff has added four titles to her career hall of, hall of seven, with the championships at every two-level event. So guys, this is only this video. I hope you guys really like it. Can do subscribe and do have a membership of our YouTube channel.